Hi boys and girls, my name is David Silvercloud. Uh, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Today is the 4th of January 2013 and I'm 68 years old. I want to make, I hope, a short, simple video to start you thinking in different ways than you may presently be thinking about the nature of matter and the universe. And the title of this video was Fixing Einstein Part 1. And I'm not dumping on Einstein at all. I'm trying to show you some things that he didn't quite think about. Uh, back in the old days we thought the Earth was flat long ago. People thought the universe moved around the Earth. And we learned a long time ago that that's not so. We now know that the Earth is one of many planets that uh, orbit our Sun, and our Sun is part of the Milky Way. And the Milky Way, which is a galaxy, is part of a supercluster galaxy. And they are all in motion. As you sit watching this, you are moving approximately, we think, about uh, four to six hundred, probably closer to six hundred, maybe more. 600 kilometers per second. Every second you're moving at least 600 kilometers through space. This is very important. Now, when uh, Einstein was working out his general and special theories of relativity, he made use of all the existing mathematics with which we're familiar, and you may have studied if you're into physics. Um, things like Kepler's laws of motion, uh, Newton's laws of motion, uh, things like the conservation of angular momentum. Uh, when scientists try to explain why planets go in circles around the Sun and things like that, they refer to these laws, in particular the conservation of angular momentum. You don't have to know what these mean. This is meant to be simple and I'm trying to put some ideas into your head and for those of you who are into physics to get you thinking in a different way. So we uh, have Einstein who worked out his uh, general and special theories of relativity and they work just fine as long as you are the observer on Earth. And remember that when you started making your observation you're not going to be where you were in space when you finished making the observation and when you make predictions they're going to be things which will be even further away in space. Everything is moving all the time very 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 fast. So what, uh, what, it is I'm, what is it I'm trying to tell you? I'm not the first person that I know of to have noticed this. I didn't at the time I first noticed it I didn't know anybody else had noticed but uh, We've been taught that the planets make circles or ellipses around the sun. And relatively, from an Earth point of view, that is what happens. But that's not what is really happening. Uh, we tend to think of the, uh, the solar system with the planets circling in it, and it's going through space like this. But it ain't going sideways. If it were, it would mean that half the year the Earth would have to be going incredibly faster through space and the other half of the year slowing down and braking to get around the turn to speed up again. So the first thing you need to know is Earth is not going sideways through space. Earth is going south pole forward through space. The bow of our ship that we live on, the planet Earth, is traveling through space south pole forward. Now if you choose to believe it's the opposite I can accept that but if you look at the uh, the information we have, if you look if you observe the Earth you'll notice that the the south pole is the coldest pole and the north pole is the warmer pole and this can be explained to a large degree through ocean currents but that doesn't cover everything. Just take my word for it that you have to accept that the Earth is going through space south pole forward. And also the planets, no matter how far they seem away from the Sun, are really 
not that far in terms of the universe. The universe is infinite. There is no ending to it anywhere. I don't believe in this Big Bang idea. That's just an idea that was created by a creationist and it has it's just a theory for idiots. So I don't want to talk about Big Bang. That's not what I'm talking about. The idea that I want to get through to you is that Earth is traveling through space south pole forward and that we have to start thinking of the Sun and the planets as a single unit unless we're doing um, interplanetary studies. As long as we're just thinking about the solar system it doesn't matter. But when it comes to Einstein's relativity, general relativity, special relativity, he failed to take into account the Earth's true motion, uh, what I call absolute motion through space. And he chose to reject or uh, ignore absolute time. This leads in his theories to ideas that time speeds up and slows down. There's lots of other good explanations of why atomic clocks seem to do that, why the light from stars seem to bend from the sun. I'll get into those in another video. There are other alternate explanations. Bending observations to make an idea work is not good science. Now let's get back to thinking about uh, the Earth. Um, we tend to do all our calculations based on Kepler's laws of motion and Newton's laws of motion. Um, but we've got to start thinking of the fact that the Earth is not rotating around the Sun. The Earth is going south pole forward and spiraling through space. All the planets are spiraling through space. There are no circles ever. Nothing ever travels in a circle, an absolute circle. I'll make another video about that. What is really important to get into your head right now is that there are no circular orbits. There are no elliptical orbits. They don't shift back and forth. The Earth spirals through space. Watch this little animation and get it into your head and I'll talk more about other things in the next video. What's important in this video is getting it into your head that the planets spiral through space. That's it for me for today. I've talked way too long. I'm, I don't know how to make these things shorter. I'm just a motor mouth and I'm trying to keep it simple and then I end up talking too much. So bye bye for now.